Every year, CFA Institute publishes the actual Level 3 essay exam. If you want to maximize the probability of passing the Level 3 exam, you should work through as many of these past essay exams as possible. But some of you might face difficulties in answering questions on the essay exam, or you might not be sure whether you are answering the questions well. And this is where IFT's Essay Exam Solutions course can help you. This course has three parts. Part one has advice videos and the essay exam relevance document. In the advice videos, I describe tips and strategies for taking the level three essay exam. And then the relevance document tells you which questions from past essay exams are still relevant for 2018. So this is a very important reference document as you work through questions from past papers. In part two, the essay exam solution lectures are organized by topic. So we might have a topic such as individual IPS. There will be another topic called institutional IPS and so on. And here you will find questions from 2011 through 2015 related to individual IPS. And then for other topics, there will be questions related to that topic. If for a given topic, there aren't enough questions in this time frame, then I have gone as far back as 2011. Nine. Now, here there will be some questions which are not relevant for 2018. I have included them anyway, just so you can look at how the questions have been answered. But if you don't have much time, then you can ignore questions that are no longer relevant for 2018. Now, some advice on how to use this material. I recommend that once you finish a given topic, such as individual IPS, you should look at the relevance document and then identify questions related to the topic that you've just finished. You should then work through these questions on your own. And only once you have solved the questions on your own, should you watch my solution videos. So in my solution lectures, you will learn how to solve these problems in an exam context. I also recommend that while you are working through individual topics, do not touch the 2016 and 2017 questions. These you should do later once you have completed the entire level three curriculum. And that brings us to part three. Here the essay exam solution lectures are organized by year. So you will see solutions for 2015, 2016 and 2017. Notice that 2015 is repeated. So I feel that you should have worked through the 2015 questions as part of your topic by topic study. And then just to get used to the full exam, you can do the 2015 questions again. But once you are ready, you should do the 2016 and 2017 questions in an exam like scenario. So you should not have seen these questions before. A quick disclaimer here is that in the solutions for 2015 and 2016, I have included some questions that are no longer relevant for 2018. If you don't have much time, you can ignore those questions and the relevance document will tell you which questions are relevant and which are not. For the 2017 paper, I have only discussed questions which are relevant for 2018. So the questions which are not relevant have been excluded. So that should give you a sense for what you will get as part of this course. And before signing off, I want to emphasize again that practice is absolutely key. You need to work through as many questions from past papers as possible. Try to do so in an exam like setting and then use my lectures to fine tune your knowledge and your skill in terms of how to answer level three questions. Best of luck with your preparation and may you pass the level three exam this year.